Hello my dear students, colleagues, guardians and who are watching this video, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to ICT 360 virtual class. So in the previous lecture, we have discussed about network topology. We have covered three topology, star topology, bus topology and ring topology. Today we will cover rest of the parts. So today we will learn about three topologies. Three topology, mesh topology and hybrid topology. So let's switch to the lecture. So at the very beginning we will discuss about three topology. This is three topology and in these pictures we can see that there are few computers and they are uh, connected with a main root. In this three topology there will be a root and from this root the computers will be connected with directly or indirectly. For the better understanding purpose we can see that. So I have drawn a figure for you. This is basically a tree topology and this is the main root. This is the main root and from root there are some uh, there can be a server or supercomputer and from that the computers will be connected with each other. Suppose I am assuming this this is number one and number two and I am assuming also this is four three four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So in these pictures we can see that this is number 1 and this is number 2 and I have, if I consider for this is number 3 and this is number 4 so we can say that number 3 and number 4 is coming from number 1. So number one is the host for number three and number four so dear students can we able to understand that number three and number four is coming from number one so number one is basically host for number three and number four like this way number two number two is also host for number five and number six so this is the basically process the process is look like tree from one to another from one to another so this will be increasing in this tree topology if i want to create more network system so we can use tree topology if i want to suppose uh, this is my tree topology and if i want to uh, add more computers then it can be uh, i can easily do it suppose from number seven i can add multiple computers so the structure is look like tree that's why we have called it tree topology so in this tree topology computers are connected from one to another and there will be a host suppose uh, number three number three is host for number seven and number eight so this is the main concept for tree, tree topology uh, in this topology there is uh, disadvantages suppose number 9 is get damaged suppose number 9 is get damaged then what will happen the whole network system will not collapse the network system will be fine but if i want to identify this problem it will little be difficult for this configuration purposes because in this tree topology we can see that the network system is very much larger from another topology and <coughs> and in this network system there are more computers so it's little bit difficult to find out the problems uh, otherwise this network topology is very much uh, effective for creating a large network system so if i go in our slide so there we can see the topology is best to used on large network so for creating a larger network we will use three topology highly flexible point to point connection this flexibility in this topology there will be a flexibility because the connection is point to point point so it will be more flexible to work here and after that the disadvantage is difficult to configure so though this network system is very much larger so it's a little bit difficult to configure 
and there is a single point of failure and there uh, if there is get damaged any computer then it will be more a uh, little bit hassle for us to find out the problem and and then uh, we have to solve the problem so that is all about tree topology after that we will learn about mass topology in this mass topology we can see that all the computers are connected with each other suppose if i consider this computer so in this pictures we can see there are one two three four five six six computers and if i consider this these computers there will be another five computers so in this mesh topology what will happen in this computer this computer can transmit data for another all computers so if i consider this computer this computer will connect will be connected with this computer these these and all the computers and if i consider another computers there will be also same so for better understanding we can see practically uh, so suppose this is mesh topology i am assuming this is number 1 this is number 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 and this is 5 so in this mesh topology there is five computers so if i want to connect this computers so we have to connect with a multiple ways suppose this is computer 1 and the mesh topology concept is every computer will be connected with each other so this is computer 1 this is computer 1 will be connected with computer 2 computer 1 will be connected with computer 3 computer 1 will be connected with computer 4 and computer 5 computer 2 computer 2 will connected computer 3 Computer three will connect computer four. Computer four will five, and five to one there is a connection. So in this topo uh, network uh, mesh topology, we can see that computer one is connected with multiple ways. Computer two is also connected with multiple ways. But computer two is connected with computer three. But computer two is not connected with computer four. So we can also connect this. We can also connect for computer five. and 1 and 2 is already there is a connection so we not we do not need to connect again so if i consider computer 3 so we can see that computer 3 is connected computer 2 computer 4 computer 1 but not computer 5 so there is so there is uh, there is multiple connection here but computer 3 is not connected with computer 5 so we can connect with computer 3 to computer 5 so after that if i consider computer 4 so we can see that computer 4 is connected computer 1 computer 2 computer 1 there is a already connection computer 3 already connection computer uh, 4 5 and computer 1 all of the connection is here if i consider computer 5 computer 5 is connected with computer 1 already computer 5 is connected computer 2 already computer 5 is connected with computer 3 computer 5 is connected with computer 4 so in this pictures we can see that all of the computers are connected with each other so if we consider computer 1 then there will be multiple connection if i consider computer 2 there will be also multiple connection so the main concept is com every computer it can be computer 5 can be 4 can be 3 but every computer will be connected with all of the computers every computer will connected with all computers so that's that is all about a mesh topology so there is a uh, very much uh, flexible to work here because suppose this is a uh, computer 5 and this is for suppose this connection is not active so what will happen the whole network system will not be collapsed the whole network system will be run smoothly because there is a multiple way to transmit data if i cannot go from here to here it's okay we can go from here to here it's a very much flexible 
Hmm, this, this mesh topology is very much flexible to work and uh, there is some disadvantages also. So in this uh, mesh topology, the cost is little bit higher than other topology because the connection distance is little bit higher. So th that is all about mesh topology. So in this mesh topology, we can see that computers are connected to each other through a number of ways. There will be multiple ways to connect connection for uh, there is a multiple way for connection computers receive the information and distribute it among other computers so we in this pictures we can see that one computer is transmit data for another computers the computer will get the data after that it can able to distribute the data also so in this uh, mesh topology we can see the purposes and uh, the disadvantages is building and maintaining the topology is difficult so after that we will learn about hybrid topology in this hybrid topology we can see that there can be a multiple network system suppose in these pictures we can easily see that this is a star topology this portion is ring topology and this portion is bus topology so um, in, in a single hybrid topology there can be a multiples another topology so in this topology bus star and ring topology can be create network together in this network topology network can be expanded okay network can be expanded because from this hub connection if i if i create a, another connection here we can also create a star topology here we can also a star or ring topology here from this from this connection we can expand our network system so if one part get damaged the total network will not be inactive suppose this part from suppose this part is damaged then what will happen then the network system will not be collapsed the network system will be run smoothly because this star topology per, uh, portion and the ring topology portion is active properly so there there is a, there is a condition that always this hub always this hub should be active if this is inactive then the full network system will be inactive okay if if this is active then the network will be run but if this is inactive then whole network system will be collapsed okay so this this is the demerits or disadvantages of this hybrid topology you have to ensure that your hub is always active so for better uh, understanding we can see from our board uh, so this is hybrid topology if i consider this is one two three four five computers and in the center we can see that this is basically a hub h u b hub this is hub from this hub there are two another uh, network system to another network topology and this is bus topology so in this portion in this portion this is bus topology and this is basically star topology and this is basically a ring topology so in this network system we can see that this is star topology this is ring and this is bus topology together and that is called hybrid topology and from hub there are a, there is a connection for a bus topology so every uh, every new network or if i want to expand any network system then you have to be connected with hub if i want to active if i want to create another uh, network system but if i want to expand our computers then we have to connection we have to connect it with a hub we have covered about mass topology tree topology and hybrid topology and previous class we have covered rest of the topologies so in this uh, lecture if you have any problem about network topology you can ask me through using comment box i will try my best to solve it okay thank you and be with I see the 360 channel.